Hi guys. Um, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to explain something to you here. So I've asked this horse to walk on the lunge line. Um, he likes to trot and trot really slowly instead of walking. But um, so I'm sure that a lot of you know the feeling when you tell your horse to do something and you know they're going to do it, but you kind of are like walking on eggshells. Like you know that at any second, if you stop paying attention or if you're not micromanaging them, they're going to um, trot off or do something else. Um, so that's kind of the difference between a very well-trained horse and just a horse that's good at following direction. Um, so when I'm training a horse, um, especially for other people, I need to make sure that they're truly understanding their job before they go home. Because then when they go home, if the person isn't as experienced or isn't standing in the exact right spot or isn't as good at their timing, the horse still knows their job and is going to reliably do their job. So that's the kind of the difference um, between a finished horse and a horse that's just, you know, doing what you're asking them to do. And it is the difference between, you know, a professional trained horse and maybe an amateur trained horse. Um, and so I just want to let you guys know, like, to think about this as you're training your horses. So um, it's the same thing if you ask your horse to do a spin um, and you can walk them through it and get them to do it, but they aren't able to kind of carry it out on their own and it's the same thing jumping anything that you can think of so um what you have to do is you have to be able to know and it'll feel just so secure so this walk right now feels so secure that i know that i don't have to hold my breath and hope that he doesn't try or tr constantly try to remind him not to try um and that's how I know that he's truly understanding this job. So you should be able to wave your whip around or if you get your rope stuck or you're not paying attention and you do crazy movements, you know that that horse is trained well enough that they are going to continue to do what you ask them to do because it's their job to do that. It's their part of the partnership, okay? So that's kind of, um, just keep that in mind and make sure that your horse is truly learning what you're teaching them instead of just always following your direction.